Ready? Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. Yes. I, I, I have a problem. What is good aquatics crew? Today I'm gonna to be answering a question that I get constantly, which is how to set up a mantis shrimp tank. Of course, I'm gonna be talking specifically about smasher mantis shrimps, more specifically peacock mantis shrimps. This is definitely not how you would set up a spearing mantis shrimp tank. And of course the peacock mantis shrimps are the ones that I keep, so yeah. But in today's video, I'm gonna be going over tanks that you can get, uh, diet, water parameters, things a mantis shrimp requires, such as you know substrate and uh, homes, and what filter systems you should have inside the tank. Tank. Also, just to throw this out there, I'll be mentioning a couple products here and there, but I'm not sponsored by anybody. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any new notifications. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start out by talking about what tank you should get for your mantis shrimp. First off, mantis shrimps are only salt water. I think some are technically brackish, but we're only going to be talking about salt water. If you're not sure if a mantis shrimp or a salt water tank is the right thing for you, I'm going to leave a card in the video and also a link in the description to another video that I made explaining everything that you should know before buying a mantis shrimp. But now back to the tanks. So yes, you can technically keep a mantis shrimp in a glass tank. It depends on two things, thickness of the glass and size of the actual shrimp. A big enough shrimp can absolutely break a certain thickness of glass. Of course, there's also a certain thickness of glass that it can't break. It's not going to break bulletproof glass, but you're also not going to be buying a bulletproof tank. So if you guys ever notice in my video, I have my mantis shrimp kaiju in an all glass tank and it's really not even that thick but he's very small so I don't really have much of a worry of him breaking the tank. On the other hand I have kaizen in an acrylic tank which is the tank that I would recommend to anybody wanting to get a mantis shrimp because it alleviates all the anxiety because they cannot break acrylic but I think kaizen is big enough to break a certain thickness of glass so that's why I don't want to put him in a glass tank. Also acrylic tanks were a little bit difficult to find. I actually had to get his tank custom made. The way I did that was I went to my local fish store asked them if they knew anybody they did they gave me a recommendation and we got it done but if you find an acrylic tank online that fits the parameters that we're gonna go with here I would say definitely go for it I think my acrylic tank cost me around a couple hundred bucks maybe 300 bucks but the prices vary all the time now online I've seen some places say that you can keep a peacock mantis shrimp in a 10 gallon tank I totally disagree with this I think if it's small if it's like a little baby peacock mantis shrimp then yes you can keep it in there for a while but as it gets bigger I think even Kaizen's tank is a little bit small for him and he's in a 20 22 gallon so I would say minimum minimum is a 20 gallon for an adult mantis shrimp but I would really prefer you guys to put it even in like a 30 gallon also make the tank long instead of tall uh, because mantis shrimps like to run around they don't really need the swimming space necessarily but they like to walk around and explore so now filter systems and heaters you of course need a filter and I would personally recommend getting a protein skimmer for your tank because mantis shrimps are very messy eaters and this will help keep the nitrates low in the tank kaiju is in an all-in-one tank so his tank came with a filter and then uh, the protein skimmer was an extra charge. Kaizen is a whole setup tank. He has a hang on the back filter with a submersible protein skimmer. So now if you're gonna make the tank from scratch like I did with Kaizen, his hang on the back filter is a Title 55, so it can handle up to a 55 gallon. So uh, I made sure it was more than enough for what he needed. Then I also have this random protein skimmer that I don't remember the name of, but any will do. Then I also use a random heater for Kaizen's tank. Again, I don't remember the name, but any heater will really do. The only thing I would say is that Kaizen's heater is actually not covered and it's glass so if he misses and he hits that heater it could definitely kill the tank which is bad of me but I would recommend to you guys to get a heater that has a cover on it and they sell those somewhere you can find them I'm sure but it has a cover on it it'll be like a plastic cover to protect the actual heater that's what I would do if I were you. So now I'm gonna go over some things that a mantis shrimp requires inside his tank for him to be happy. First thing I like to point out is multiple places for them to go and hide. Like I have the PVC pipe and the rock, also preferably with multiple entrances, like how there's multiple entrances in the rock and the PVC pipe. They like rocks and shells, toys pretty much. They like to play with them, they'll decorate with them. You'll see them smashing them, they'll decorate their caves, etc. They like a deep sand because they like to dig a lot. And make sure the places that you give them are pretty dark because it makes them feel way more comfortable when they have a dark place to hide. And as for lighting, they don't need any special type of lighting. If you're gonna keep corals, that's a totally different story. But if you're just gonna do a mantis shrimp tank only, then I would say any type of light really works. I don't even keep it on all day. I have window light doing a good job for most of the day. And I really only turn on the lights when I'm recording or feeding. Also, there have been studies showing that too much light can cause shell rot and some funguses in mantis shrimp. So definitely don't need a crazy light for these guys. So now water parameters for your mantis shrimp. The temperature of the water, they live in tropical waters, so it's gotta be somewhere 
somewhere between 73 and like 83, 84 degrees. I personally keep it at 78 degrees. I think what's more important than anything is that you keep the temperature consistent. You don't want it to fluctuate too much. Go from all the way from 80 to like 73 daily or something like that. Salinity should be around 1.018 to 1.025. The pH could be around 8 to 8.5. Now nitrates you need to keep as low as possible because these guys are very susceptible to that. So I would say keep it at least 20 ppm or under. If it goes above that, don't worry. Just try to do a water change as soon as you can. They can usually tank it out for a little bit, but you can't be like that for very long. Now a mantis shrimp diet. Mantis shrimps are carnivores. They're not herbivores. They're not omnivores. Do not try to feed him celery. He will laugh at you. Now, depending on the species and the specific shrimp, because they have very different personalities and things, their diet can actually be very unpredictable. There are actually some mantis shrimps that I've heard of that will never accept live food. They get put on frozen and then they really don't come off. But I would say that most peacock mantis shrimps will definitely take live food. It's a little bit more of a trial and error thing. You need to see if he's into it, see if he's not, see what he likes, see what he doesn't like. Things you can give him are crabs, hermit crabs, snails, fish, clams, shrimp, really anything meaty he will take. And you can definitely feed frozen or freeze dried. My guys like krill and mysis shrimp every once in a while, that's no problem. I just personally prefer to feed them live because they're very intelligent creatures and I think they need that stimulation. Feeding a mantis shrimp can be very tricky, so if you wanna make sure that he's eating, I say the best way to do that is to fill the tank with a cleanup crew, so hermit crabs and snails, crabs, and he will pick them off as he pleases. And you can also throw in some frozen food every once in a while just to make sure that he's having something a little bit more substantial. So now technically mantis shrimps hunt every three days in the wild so you kind of only technically need to feed them every three days but sometimes when I offer my mantis shrimps food even after feeding them just the day before they still go crazy for it so I personally feed them five times a week if you're not sure how much to feed them I would say just offer him some food and see if he'll take it and if he's hungry he'll take it so now we're gonna go over tank mates tank mates for a mantis shrimp is always a very interesting topic again mantis shrimps are very unpredictable if they want to let something live they will if they don't they won't. The most common fish I've seen people keep with a mantis shrimp are damsels. I don't know why. I have seen them with other fish as well, but people will literally keep damsels in the tank and the mantis shrimps will just go for crabs. I've also seen people feed them crabs while there's hermit crabs in the tank and they don't bother the hermit crabs. Again, not sure why. The only thing I would safely suggest to you is that anything you put in the tank is at risk of harm or death. I would also suggest not keeping any large predatory fish in the tank, such as puffer fish, triggers, because that's actually mantis shrimp's natural predator. Absolutely a puffer fish or a trigger fish, maybe even a grouper that's big enough will definitely kill a mantis shrimp if the size permits. And again, if they feel like it. All right. And there you guys have it. That's pretty much everything you need to know when keeping a mantis shrimp and how to set up its tank. A lot of things are going to be trial and error. So you need to see what works for you and what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss an upload. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me recently. It's really been awesome. And I've been really having a fun time making these videos for you. But thank you guys. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.